The assembly starts with a thin fiberglass sheet placed on a waxed flat steel plate. Epoxy resin is spread into it with excess removed to minimise the final sheet thickness. Heating may be applied if necessary for a normal cure time. An accurate full scale drawing of the stator is traced or printed onto the cured sheet. This is then attached ink down onto a temporary backing ready for applying the windings. First is pass one of phase one. The wire is a lit composite of four twisted bunches of fine wire, further twisted together and compressed by polyester binding. This minimizes both eddy and end effect losses. There is only a minor impact on resistance, compared with a conventional multi-turn coil of thicker wire. The wire is malleable enough for manual application to the base sheet. Jig based assembly could of course be quicker and more accurate for production of mature designs. The second pass of phase one continues so that resultant pairs of wires straddle the central drawn position. The complete phase lays flat against the fiberglass sheet. Phase 2 is added electrically two-thirds of a pole pitch ahead. It overlaps phase 1 only outside the area to be covered by the magnets. Phase 3 is added at a further two-thirds pitch ahead. The overlap completes a distinctive pattern with a two-wire depth. The four-wire sub-bunches are brought out separately for parallel or series connection for selection of one, two or four times basic output voltage with no loss of figure of merit. Careful dip soldering ensures that every wire of the composite is properly connected and unstressed. Crimp connection to solid output pins eliminates bends near the soldered regions. The winding is impregnated with epoxy resin and a further fiberglass sheet is added. Excess resin is removed and pressure is applied throughout setting to ensure flatness and minimum thickness. Soon after setting a middle barrier is added and an outside rim formed with glass loaded epoxy. The finished stator should remain perfectly flat over the full area of the rear face and over the active front. That is the end of the stator construction. 
Now a little more on scaling for other applications. Capability may be retained for lower speeds, mostly by increasing radius to magnet centers. Further may be found through increased magnet length and larger optimum gap across the stator. All improvements are at the expense of magnet mass, proportional at least to the total volume of the gap.